Making City of Calgary taking on sense-making Swifty. Carson Twarinski redirects the Matteo Gennaro shot 50 seconds in. one nothing Calgary at that point, but look at Alexi Heppo Niemi. His teammates call him Hippo when he comes up huge. 1-1. And that goal just coming seconds after Calgary had their marker. Travis Child, strong night in goal, stopping Lucas Cullen on the breakaway and the rebound. And a little pushing and shoving after that Travis Child save. Second period, Tyler McConjic, partial breakaway, but Travis Child stops it and no rebound. Broncos into the second period, Max Lejoie et les boue. Lejoie is second of the year. 2-1 Swifty at that point. They would take that lead into the third period and into the final minute. Calgary's net is empty. They throw the puck on goal, and once again, Tars Carson Twarinski is there. Tying the game at two. Overtime would be necessary. And then Tyler Steenbergen says, I'm going to end this game, and there's nothing you can do about it. Steiner scores his 13th of the year, his third OT winner of the year. Broncos win their 10th game, 3-2 in Overtime. Tyler Steenbergen, 13 goals on the year, three in overtime. Steener, you're quickly turning into the uh, the Aroldis Chapman of the Western Hockey League here. Do the guys in the room have a uh, have a nickname for you? The stopper, the closer, the terminator, anything like that? No, I don't think so. For us, it doesn't matter who scores an OT as long as we get that win. Yeah, you know, we were getting a little tired there in our end, and then uh, PD I knew was tired, so I knew I should support him. Uh, he made a good draw pass to me. You know, I noticed that there was a forward playing D on my side, so, you know, I made a quick cut to the middle and just put her on net and it went in. 